going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we have our round nine review <coughs> god coughing already and for those who are wondering i still have that same cough that i had two weeks ago um i think i'm dying but yeah anyway um we scored two 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 five which wasn't too bad considering we fielded rioli and steel um yeah i mean happy with that i guess we took a risk and captain Braden Proust, so that actually kind of worked out um, still lost most of my matchups because of Rioli and Steele, but um, yeah, is what it is. We move on. So Stewart happy with him. Witherden did all right. Short, not sure what happened with him. Chris per hundred good. Doffy all right, good. And Stewart back to one twenty one. That guy is an absolute <coughs> god. That guy's a monster. Um, I'm so happy I have him, and I'm so happy I started with him. I probably should have started with Sicily as well in hindsight, but. It is what it is. There's no way any of us could have predicted them both to be top six. And it seems like they're pretty safe to be, to finish up top six, if I'm being honest. Um, Neil 115. Oliver 99. I think a lot of people expect him to go bigger. I actually originally had the captain on him. So I was going to take that, but ended up going with Big Bad Prusy. Um I thought he actually should have been on a bit more, but uh, he went quiet in the fourth. So a bit frustrating. Could have been a mammoth score, but still, still very good captain score. Tink Miller 130, so I think he's back um, to his best now. He's not getting tagged. He should go be this week against the Dogs. I'll VC, <coughs> God. I'll VC him, um, but I don't know if I'll have a loophole, which is a bit annoying. McRae did what McRae does. Cripps was a bit quieter. Played a lot of Ruck, which was annoying, so sort of stopped him. And I think he got tagged by Callum Ward a little bit. I don't think it was an official tag, but he was definitely running with him a fair bit. Um, which was frustrating. So Steele, we have to trade, obviously, six to eight week injury. Very frustrating starting with him. Just hasn't been what we thought he'd be. It's okay. But, um, yeah. Um, Dacos, 69. Have to hold him one more week, which is frustrating. Rioli, seven. <laughs> Never fielding him again, bro, honestly. Ever again. And that's, that's a 100%. Like, lock. He will never be on my field again. <laughs> I refuse. Um, anyway, Robbie McComb. Um, didn't really do it much, but in hindsight, I should have taken his loop. <laughs> um, yeah, moving on to the rucks. Wits and Proust were good. Hayes, probably trade him in the next three or four weeks, maybe. Dunkley, 118, good. Parker, good. Brody, great. Cogs, probably have to look to trade. Um... But I'm glad I kept him. Bounced back nicely. And Nick Martin probably trade in the next few weeks. So easy, um, easy trades for me this week. O'Driscoll and Steele out for Greg Clark and uh, and uh, Christian Petrarca. So um. Yeah, I, th I just love the value in Petrarca. I should have got him last week, but here's what it is. Um, and then next week we can do a double upgrade. So we can upgrade Martin and Dacos to maybe Tim English and Brayshaw. Um, yeah, you could get Karmas. People who are trading out Cogs, fair enough. I don't blame you for trading him out. Um, Nick Dacos is probably someone I'd, yeah, I want to move him on, but I don't have the luxury of moving him on at the moment. So I just have to hold him another week. Hope he does well. Um, happy with fielding Clark. Don't think he'll be a spud. Don't want to jinx him though. <coughs> but yeah, so double upgrade next week, which will be huge. Um, so I'm talking so fast, guys. I've got to make this video quick because I just keep coughing and it's quite um, annoying, especially for the headphone users, I'm sure. Um, Sicily's definitely one I would like to bring in, but just kind of... Can't <laughs> full premium in the back line unless I swing heel it down, but probably won't do that. Um, just back my guys to outscore him for the rest of the season, hopefully. Um, De Kooning's one I'll cash in in the next few weeks as well. Um, but yeah, Brayshaw will come in next week for Dacos. And then, so if you look at the forwards, it might actually have to be like an Isaac Heaney because I need someone from the last buy round because I've got so many people from that buy. <clears throat> so it actually might have to be Heaney. Gone a bit quiet, a bit cheaper. Um, has a pretty good run home, I believe, so. Yeah, might have to go with him. Tom Lynch averaging 99. With a three round average of 158. <laughs> Crazy. Lipper probably is going to be a lock for top six as well. Um, 
But I do want to get Bailey Smith. So ideally, I could get Bailey Smith for Cogs and Tim English for Nick Martin, but it's probably going to have to be more like a Heaney and Tim English instead of Bailey Smith, which is, hmm, I don't know. Might do Butters to Smith later. See how Butters goes. But I think Butters can be good, honestly. I know we did play North and didn't set the world on fire, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll do another video this week because this is not enough. Five minutes for a week is not enough, but um, yeah. Oh, vice captain, captain this week. I think I'm just going to go. I don't think I have a loophole, but Rioli or Carol might get dropped, hopefully. Um, who does Proust play? Oh, Gold Coast play Bulldogs. Might have to be a Wits captain. I think I think I'll go Miller into Neil though. Just be safe. Neil against Hawthorne should go large. Um, yeah, I don't know. What how does he usually go against Hawthorne actually? One fifty seven, one fourteen. Yeah, we'll see. Wait and see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.